and burgers, I don't think people often put them together. It's not a normal combination, is it? It, it isn't. But today I'm going to show you the Alexander family fish burger, which has got a story behind it that I'm going to slowly drip feed you, Richo. I'm sure we're going to get the Over story. The, you will, okay. over time. Now, I have got some rockling, but you can really use any firm white fillet fish that doesn't ideally have bones in it. And I love rockling for that. I need it to fit this though, Richo, so I'm hoping you can work your magic. So I'm going to butterfly it by slicing it nearly all the way through, yes. nice and carefully. So I'll do both of them like that. Perfect, okay. thank you. Okay. How easy is that? And that way it's going to fit my burger bun and we're going to start marinating this so we get all the beautiful flavours through it. Yeah, perfect. We're going to make a really quick, easy marinade. Some avocado oil, please, Richo. All right, good splish is what of we're that. Gonna use. Yes. About a tablespoon, two tablespoons. Yeah, go, you know, perfect. Okay, I'm, I'm content with that. Perfect. A little bit of lemon juice goes in. Thank you, like sweet Richo. And then we add some little bit more. Richo's just trying to take over my recipe. I oh, thought it was a tiny bit yeah, of lemon yeah, juice in okay. there. They're and really juicy, these lemons. They are. They're yeah. good, aren't they? Love a bit of lemon juice, baby. So OK. What, what have you got in there? Cayenne pepper and paprika. Now, this is going to get combined mm. together. Could you pass me a spoon, please, Richo? Sweet, Richo. Thank so you very much. Is this what you're going to cook the fish in? This is the marinade. This oh. is just going to give it a little bit of a flavour hit on the fish. Some zing and some, some spice. Some zing. And like then we're going to put these beautiful little rockling babies. Where's What's the happening? salt and pepper? Yeah, you can put some in. Go okay, on. I'll, I'll go on. Go for it. it. Yep, beautiful. A little pinch. Yep, beautiful. Some beautiful salt flakes going in, some and pepper. Murray River salt is the best and it goes so yeah, well with yeah. fish. Now, Richo, these are going to go into the pan. I'm Very like easy. This. We've already got some is avocado. That That's it. Ideally, Richo, you'd let these marinate overnight and let okay. all these juices soak in. Or you can leave it for an hour. But we're hungry. We're getting straight into it now, we aren't we? We are. I like that. We are. Now, I'm going to get you, Richo. I've got some beautiful Turkish bread, which okay. is... This is, you know, a burger with a twist. So fish, beautiful go. Turkish buns. You're making it all wacky. Now, I am. Now, one thing that people don't like cooking fish inside, so if you are cooking this burger, it's a great one to cook outside in the barbecue, Correct. isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely. Cook it on the barbie. But this is so easy. You can see how easy this burger is. It's got some fish in it, so it's good for cholesterol, good for heart health. We've got a beautiful Turkish bun and then we're going to pop some rainbows in too. Thank you, Richo. I'm going to give these a spray with some olive oil, Richo. And let me tell you the story behind these burgers. Okay. I am obviously from South Australia originally. There was a really amazing fish and chip shop there in a place called Hyde Park and they did a fish burger. And it was a little bit unique, so it had sweet chilli sauce in it and a few other things. And we used to literally line up there, order these burgers, hanker for them on a Sunday, all through med school. Used to take Will, my husband, down there. I introduced him to it. We moved to Melbourne and we lost the fish shop. Now you have to cook your own. And we put a little spin on it. I just put a couple of extra rainbows in there, but we now call it the Alexander Fish Burger. Are you going to turn that over? I am. I'm going to turn it over. Why? Do you feel concerned about that? No, not at no. all. Not really Look at this. Point. So fish doesn't take long to cook. No, not at all. So now we need to get these burger fillings ready, Richo, and you've done the avocado beautifully, much more beautifully than I would do at home. Okay. We've got lettuce. Could you just chop roughly a handful of those for me, please, Richo? Yeah. They add some saltiness to the burger. And I'm going to take care of these sun-dried tomatoes, which I'm just going to cut into some strips. The flavours in this burger are slightly unique. I like that. Are you seeing this? Well, We've got... that's what this is all about, a unique type of burger. And you've got the fish, you've got the sun-dried tomatoes, the olives. I'm really looking forward to tucking into this one. And you've got some crazy sauces going on there crazy. as well. Crazy. I love it. Crazy. Well, it's the perfect fusion. I love that he's so concerned about this. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. This so is great. a slightly different burger, a beautiful toasted bit great. of Turkish bread. Beautiful. Can you please put a very generous smear of mayo and sweet chilli? And I know you're thinking, what is going on here? But, uh, wow. Well, you okay, said, you said generous? I did. I need to be so careful <laughs> with Richo. It's a little bit like a child, like in the sense that I say to my five-year-old, big, and it comes out huge. Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Big. That's excellent. Thank okay, you like so that. much, Richo. So I like the reward. When you reward me and say that's great, I, I feel good with that. Yeah, good. Okay. Excellent. You are? I uh, like it. The avocado goes on there. Can yes. I put some pepper on that avocado? You can if you oh, really good. need I'm to. Liking. See, I know I'm not going to put get away with salt, but I can get away with pepper on you there. You can. Go for yeah. it. A little bit of pepper. Beautiful. I normally just smear that on at home, but you can do what you like. Okay. Can we put on some chopped olives, please? And right. I'm going to put on the sun-dried tomato. It's like a Mediterranean burger so It is. Far. And I promise you, when you bite into it, all those flavours are going to combine beautifully. I promise you this comes together. Now, let us on the top or the bottom? No, bottom. Thank okay, you. Gotcha. This is all the veggies. See how many rainbows are in my burger here? I like that. It all is the bed, all the deliciousness. And then we're going to put on this beautiful piece of rockling goes oh, on top. Oh, look at that. Fantastic. 
And then the top of the burger, Richo, finishes this off. And look at that puppy. If that's not getting you excited, Richo, go for it. If you, you think you can do half? it with that night, don't you? Yeah, OK, go I for it. Do that one. Holy moly. Oh, look at that. That's See, I would have gone for the serrated one, but you're a brave man. There we go. Pick that up like that. Yes. Look at that. That's I a great looking burger. I want you to have a bite of that, please. I, I was going to hand that to you. Oh, if he's you such want. a beautiful man. Thank you, Richo. Be careful because the bun is really, really hot because it just came off the grill there. I'm just going to grab that and tuck into go it. Go on, tell I'm me what you think. Loving the look of it. This takes me straight back to my whole teenage years, my med school days. This is like nostalgia for me. I'm loving the choice of bun. It's really soft bun with a sesame seed in there. Fantastic. But the fish is cooked beautifully. Great choice of fish. Moist, delicious. So many flavours in there. It is wacky. You know, it is wacky, but not so wacky. It is actually really nice. And I love the olives in there, everything in there. This is a cracking burger. Almost as good as mine.